This is a praying mantis. Equipped with binocular vision to accurately judge the distance to prey and powerful spike-covered forelegs, it is a formidable predator in the insect world. Motionless and well camouflaged, they wait in ambush. What about that mouth? Concealed from view by the equivalent of lips are specialized super sharp incisors, cutting plates and molars enabling it to easily devour prey. Look at those eyes. Those dark spots are called pseudopupils. They appear to move around the eye depending on the angle at which you are looking at them. So if it's not really a pupil, then what is it? Like all insects, the praying mantis's eyes are also composed of numerous units known as omatidia, commonly referred to as a compound eye. A black spot or pseudopupil is seen when light is completely absorbed and not reflected back as a colour by the internal structure of those units. The rest of the eye appears coloured as light is being reflected off pigmented cells. Pseudopupils can also be seen in the eyes of other insects and crabs. There are about 2,400 species of praying mantids and they can be found throughout the world wherever there is a warm climate. So how big do they get? They can range in size from about 10 millimeters to 150 millimeters.